Johnny. Do you want to build a nation? Come on, we will be free. Not another civil war. The people I speak for have rights of life and liberty. We were promised to be equals, and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to end segregation? It doesn't have to divide the nation. Go away, Martin. No, I'll fight. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Do you want to end segregation? Or fulfill the American dream? I think some peace is overdue. I've started fighting for the rights that we deserve. Hang in there, Africans. We are aiming for prosperity. All these Jim Crow laws just taking away our dreams. The nonviolent protests were different from what the nation had been experiencing in the years before with the Black Panthers and Malcolm X. With this speech on August 28, 1933, more than 25,000 people joined together at the nation's capital to continue the march on Washington. This speech made a lasting impression on the American people by promoting nonviolent protest and to be a city upon a hill. Sadly, on April 4, 1968, MLK was assassinated in Tennessee, but his legacy continues. Martin? Please, we must be fair. People could walk hand in hand. They stay separate but equal and they are one. We only have each other. It's just blacks and whites. What are we gonna do? Do you wanna be a nation? Let's end segregation.